At Freiburg High School, it's the end of the year. Time for the final exams and the matric dance. Four years ago, this school hit the headlines with scenes of racial violence that shocked the country. Now, the last group of learners who were present when the conflict started are about to matriculate. Special assignment decided to visit the school to see how things are going. We spent the day with two boys, Kurbas Erasmus and Dumile Maboya. Both of them are prefects in the class of 2001. It's the night before the matric dance, the farewell bri for the teachers and students. It's quarter to six on the morning of the matric dance. <coughs> Both Kurbus Erasmus and Dumile Mabuya come from the Platteland, so they stay in the hostel. <laughs> Dumile came to Freiburg High School to get a good education. He comes from Hanyesa, 70 kilometers away, and the schools there aren't very good. He arrived in Freiburg right in the middle of the violence. At first it was hard to mix with the white people, you know. Yeah, it was really tough because um, I didn't know anything about white men's culture. Now I know a lot of things about them. In 1999, we used to fight with them, yeah. We used to fight with them, but I changed because I thought, yeah, if you communicate with these people, why should we fight, you know? Because we came here for education, why should we fight? <laughs> Kurbis' family are cattle farmers. They live on a farm in the Nolopo area, on the Botswana border. Lopen op een plaats die meer alles werkt is is zwart mensen. En dan komt ons bij goede verhouding, ons pas bij meer beter aan. Ons kunnen dat van die plaats afkomen, dat het samen dat het goed geworden is. Als die hier naar hun dorp. With many of the white boys speaking Tswana, race relations certainly seem to have improved at the hostel. But by breakfast it becomes clear that while there's no longer racial violence, there isn't much mixing either. When I came there, it was like, yeah, it's the table for plagues. You know? I had to sit there and then the white students would sit ab apart from us. So I think we have to abandon the laws. I don't know what's going on. I mean, we found things like that. We don't. We cannot change that. Thank you, Heaven, for that. We are the rest of the day. Amen. After breakfast, it's off to class. Even though this is the day of their matric dance, the twelfth graders still have to attend school, at least in the morning. Freiburg High School is dual medium. This means that the school maintains two separate and very different streams, one English and one Afrikaans. In Dumile's class, there are no white learners and most of his teachers are black. When you do our calculations, then that would be 38% of 48,000, giving us 18,240. All of Kurbis's teachers are white, as are his classmates with the exception of a few coloured kids. Freiburg is a small town in the northwest of the country, right on the edge of the Kalahari. The area relies heavily on cattle farming, and the people live close to nature, which in Freiburg is harsh. Because it's so close to the desert, there's virtually no rain, it's an environment that leaves little room for mistakes, and there have been plenty of those. Apart from this, the people are hardworking and hospitable. They love their church, their language, and their children. 
But hanging around the neck of the town is the albatross of racism. In February 1998, a group of white parents descended on the school, armed with shamboks. With their children safely locked in their classrooms, the parents went on the rampage. They beat and assaulted black students, many of whom had to crawl through broken windows to escape. Most white parents believed that this was the only way to protect their children and sought out the racial tension at the school. Earlier, the principal had been taken hostage and fighting among learners had become so bad that many felt it was only a matter of time before someone was killed. This is private property. No one was killed, but the attack by the parents only made matters worse. The war between white and black students escalated, filtering into both the town and township. Then the final straw. A white boy was stabbed at school by his black classmate, Andrew Babayele. After this, the situation deteriorated so badly that the school had to be closed. Freiburg High School, had become synonymous with the racial violence of the small Platteland towns of the Northwest. But all this was several years ago. Today, the former principal is gone, along with his all-white governing body. The new principal is Dr. Dries de Toy. He believes in strict Christian discipline and fairness, values many believe have helped turn the school around. His deputy is black. Mr. Mandlenkosi Fuleni. His transfer to the school two years ago was met with much hostility from many of the whites. As, as a person, you know, working with people, when you are ignored, you know, you can feel it. You, you are being ignored. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. And, and it can hurt you very much. Two years later, Fuleni has managed to stamp his authority on the school. He has good relations with all the learners, both black and white. Who respect him enormously. Part of the credit for these changes must go to Dr. De Toy. He arrived at the school from George at the beginning of the year. For him, the solution was simple. It's all a matter of fairness and strict discipline. Ik is maar een beetje van een discipline area. Ik hou van discipline, ik geloof in discipline. Discipline is voor mij die moeder van opvoeding. Zonder discipline kan je niet opvoeden. En van die eerste dag af heb ik die grenzen getrek. Dit zal ik doen, dit zal ik niet doen. Another step that Dr. De Toy has taken is to ban politics on the school premises. Het probleem wat ik heb met politiek op school. Onmiddellijk heet die groeperings. En groeperings in een school zoals Vrijburg is een gevaarlijke ding. Ik laat geen groepen toe, geen politiek hoegenaamd aan geen kant toe. Ik zal wel godsdienstgroepen toe laten, ja, maar geen politiek. Ja, ik denk dat kan niet weer ouwe gewonnen opkrap. En dat kan weer meer over. En ons is niet, ons wordt niet toch wel je leert af dat dit ons gehelp om daarvan te vergeet. En ik denk dat dit ook al bij groot bijdrage levert tot het tot die succes van die school hierin. While this approach works for the white learners, it's more complicated for black learners. Many of them felt the blows of the shambox on their backs. This is the first time I got into school, 1999. I saw what kind of a white person are there in the private eye, you know. They don't like it, they push you around, you know. I mean, I will never like a white person because they don't like us. I also hate them. I hate white people very much. Especially uh, here in Freiburg. Most of them who were sitting in the lawn were the metrics. I will say that most of them are really glad to be living in Freiburg, I guess. They've had enough of 
beatings, you know, for violence, everything. The standard six, they really enjoy the school. I don't, I would like to say that we have to tell them about what happened really on 1980 because we don't actually speak about these things. Some of them were beaten. And in speaking about that, they, they still, they have to remember that those inc incidents, you know, and that makes them sad. This sadness came to the fore earlier this year. The parents involved in the Shambokhing incident were acquitted in court. Many black people felt that this judgment flew in the face of all the changes that were taking place at the school, especially since Andrew Babayile, the black student who stabbed his classmate, was still in jail. Now that that was one of the days where when it seemed, you know, like 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 you know something very terrible has happened. You know, I could equate it to the recent uh, attacks on the Wall Street Center. You know, thereafter, people were gloomy and so on and so on. Uh, that was almost, you know, a situation like that. But, but even most importantly, people were very angry. The morning after the verdict, three learners came to Detroit with a list of demands. They wanted to join the protest march. And naturally, as school of the Salak for the Darlet say, Hoor nie die maans aan na my school. Toe het hulle gesê, hulle wil een versoek tot middag. Goed. Dat was baie reaksie in die dorp, oor die school of wat durf die schoolkinders toelaat om te gaan deel met. En ek denk die gene het nie verstaan waarom dit gaan. Ek vandag is so gelukkig, dat ek het wel gedoen het. En dit was een waterscheiding, het onmiddellik die conflict situasie van die schoolgrond verskyf. Nou, dit waar het hoort. Dumile himself wasn't part of this group. Neither was he at Freiburg High on the day of the Shambokhing. Kubis wasn't at school either that day. He was in hospital for a rugby injury. But his father was there. In fact, his father was among the group of parents who came to the school. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Die school is toegemaakt, die sien net politie om die school, jy raak bang, jy weet jy wat om te verwacht nie. But that was then. Now that the situation has improved at the school, Kubis is upbeat about the future of the country. Nee, ja, ek sal hier by jy altyd. Ek denk hier is baie geleend jy in Suid-Afrika, want sien jy het net nie raak nie, allemaal plug weg. En ek denk as allemaal saamstaan kan... After graduating, Kubis hopes to become an accountant. Dumile's dream is to become an air steward. In the meantime, their current concern is the dance, which is taking place tonight. Evening, we'll be going to our metric dance. Let's hear what you guys have prepared yourselves. Dumile, by the way, who's your partner? Who's your partner tonight? Oh, Bichoko, who's in? Okay, quite a nice girl, hey. <laughs> Back at the hostel, Kurbis and his friends are getting themselves ready. Kurbis and Pity have agreed to highlight their friend Butter's hair. <laughs> From here, Kubis goes to meet his mom, who's just had her hair done. <laughs> No, I can slow. 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 I can
<laughs> this dance is the biggest event on Freiburg's social calendar. In town, all the saloons are having their busiest day. Everyone is getting ready for tonight. <laughs> if you want to date a white girl, you know, she will never say yes because her parents, they're not, they're not going to allow her to go with you. Maybe she, she'll be willing to go with you, but oh, on the other side of the, 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 the racism, she will never go with you. Tonight, Dumile isn't dating a white girl. He's taking Bichoko Marcelo. Across town, she's getting dressed with some of her friends. Bichoko is a little shy, but her friend Prudence isn't. Like Dumile, she's a prefect. Yeah, we did a big difference. Because I was there when everything started, now giving everything is just ended. Yeah, it's our fifth year. Yeah, it's our yeah. fifth year from primary school. school. Well, I do love the school. I think it's going to be one of the best schools. It is now the best school, but it's going to be the best. But as for hatred, mm -mm. I don't have any hatred at all. Maybe I'm not hurt about it. I think I love the experience. It taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. That it, it doesn't matter what color you are. If you want to make it in there, you can make it. I mean, when you arrived there, they didn't think that a black person can succeed, but now they can see that you can succeed, you can make it. Last year and this year. We asked the girls where they bought their dresses. That girl who designed my dress, I just tell her, just look at my body and do something about it, because I had no idea what to wear. I just yeah. wanted to wear something sexy, but I had no idea <laughs> about the design. It's not about the dress, it's how it suits. I mean, it's about the body. I love what it takes. I trust my body. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's going to be an after, but, but after having dinner, there's going to be music, then all the adults leave, and the young ones stay behind. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this guy is my best friend, so we had to choose something that is more or less the same. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. we, we organized yeah. with the manager of girls. He told us, yeah, I'll order something for you guys, both of you. So he brought this. We are actually the and first so ones to wear these shoes in private. You think so? Mm. Maybe. Maybe I'm someone got them. I'm going to have to doubt. <laughs> yeah, today. I can call you Kim Sumsa today. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Yeah. No problem. Sure. Yeah. Today must be the most happiest day of, yeah. of, of our, our experience in the school. Curtis's parents have driven all the way from their farm and rented a room for the day. Kobus okay. <laughs> joins them here to get dressed. Unlike most other high schools, at Freiburg, parents also attend the dance. Five p.m. Finally, time to oh. fetch the girls. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, in a house across town. Dr. De Toy arranged a driver to take Dumile and his date to the dance. He said he didn't want his prefects arriving on foot. It was really great since the driver was a white person, you know. I was thinking, oh, wow, what are, you, what are you going to think at the Madrid when they say that now? Oh. That's when he's arriving with a white driver. It was quite nice, my picture. Actually, I want to thank Mr. Dutot for what he did for me. 
Being the biggest event on the Freiburg social calendar, everyone in the town shows up to watch the matrix arriving. The highlights in Butter's hair have turned out well. And then Dumile arrives. His parents are also there to watch their son. When Antoinette's date fails to show up, Dumile's friend Seppo finds himself escorting two partners. And then Quobus arrives under the ever watchful eye of Dr. De Toy and his father and mother. the dance brings back memories for Dr. De Toy of his own school dance. Ek het een nooi gehad wat ek verskrikkelijk bewonder het met die die moed gehad om te vraag nie en toe die ma kon vraag of ek nie saam met die dochter wil gaan nie. Dit was een tyd waar dochters was nog iets wat op die troonkie staan. Die mag hulle net na hulle kyk, die mag nooit aan hulle vat of moet hulle gesels nie. For Mr. Fuleni it brings back different memories. He matriculated during the student uprising of the late 70s and never had a matric dance. In the school that I attended um, when, when we were in matric um, went on a strike on the 29th of July and the department summarily closed it down while coming from a person who didn't have one. I'm doing my level best to convince them that you know, they should really go out there and, and, and enjoy themselves. I think it will change, actually. It will really change, especially next team. Since I've been seeing that Mr. Detroit has changed it in a lot of things this year. So next year, I think he's going to be doing a lot of things again. And then the, it will definitely change. I mean, I'm very proud of my school. Met dit wat ons recht gekryd hier, ja. Dit het ons baie geleer, maar hy meer volwasse gemaakt, meer mense geleer ken. En ek denk dat hy op die keer uiper gemaakt op die toekomst. Park. 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 Park.